The Voice Over Doctor presents Margaritas, Mojitos, and Microphones. Viva el Voice Over Doctor. All right. Hear where you're going when you listen to this back. Yeah. We start to pitch up. Your normal voice is fine. <clears throat> okay. Your normal voice is really good. It's like, uh, you've no need to worry. Just bring it all the way down. Bring it down. Give me that last sentence. Just the last sentence. I wish only to speak. Be very serious as you're speaking to me right now. I wish only to speak with one of the assessors concerning a certain shadowless associate of his. Right. See, that that voice, I like. You hear? You guys hear it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's your regular voice is great. Okay. You don't have to change it. But it's hard, you know? It's hard if you're not hearing somebody say that to you all the time. But bring that down. All right, so I'm going to read the entire script before I do it. Because that's what we do in the voiceover game. I like the prestige, but I don't like the germs. The germs get under your nails, and they crawl around at night. Yeah, that's way better. I like that a lot, because that character still lives, and he's very specific, and he's not... It's much more true to him, and with that, even, I heard for the first time that sense of, like, I like the prestige, because I um, kick ass and take names. I hate the germs. Cool. Good stuff. I hear whispers beneath the ice. Frella Horde? <laughs> what? Not anymore! Look, I got my problems, and you need to figure out yours. Helping me is a waste of your time. Oh, so you weren't just satisfied with just killing villagers. You had to kill your family, too? Yeah, we spoke on the phone. And it didn't sound like you wanted me to. All right, we got anger down. Uh, yeah, let's do one pass where you don't do anything angrily. Yeah, I like that. Just for shits and giggles, a little character detour. Puff up the sensitivity. Cool. I don't think you need to worry about... Here's the thing. Anytime that there's someone who's a badass, the, the way that you play a badass is by being a relaxed self. Right. A relaxed version of you. So just relax. Uh, Joseph and I are going to have a look inside. Kid, you stay here. Keep watch. Look, just stall her. Just need to figure out the suspect's weaknesses. Maybe something of the... Maybe the things on his desk will help. Yeah, not anymore. All right, I got my problems. You need to figure out yours. Helping me is a waste of your time. Do that one again. Yeah. Be, uh, be very vulnerable. Okay. Go, to, go to that place. Okay. Not anymore. Look, I got my problems, and you need to figure out yours. Helping me is a waste of your time. That was a thousand times better. Yeah. A thousand times better. All right. Boom. If the stories won't come to me, I must go to them. Pen in one hand, gun in the other. All right, slow it down a little bit. If the stories won't come to me, I must go to them. Pen in one hand, gun in the other. Yeah, there's that song. See, there's no reason for those pauses and all that stuff. That's the emotion, and it's the nice, crystal clear sound of a video game. The thing you'll never <laughs> hear in a video game is a character finding their words. Uh, the words that are written are the words that, that you'll have. So you won't say like, I try to to, to, to help, right. and to, and some, sometimes you just never hear that. So it's all about creating that song and creating that emotion within the words that are explicitly written. An age of ice beneath my wings. Fearless, it was fearless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's called acting. And it always helps me like that. From a mocap perspective, because I know a lot of video games are doing mocap mm -hmm. nowadays, uh, for somebody who is dedicated to voiceover that wants to be versatile and do a little mocap, what would you recommend in terms of classes or even people you specifically recommend go study with them? You know, I always tell everybody, that I've said it to you before, I think motion capture is the most natural performance you'll ever have in the most unnatural environment. 
It is all, and all of you are mocap actors. Now, if somebody is a stunt person, that's a little different. And mocap takes a, a it's a little learning curve, but watch, go look at behind the scenes of Avatar and anything else, and you'll see it. And you got the microphone, you got the camera, and it's a little awkward at first. The hardest thing of getting into mocap is you either have to ha know the casting director because they're calling the agents to say bring them in, or you have to have the agents that's sending you in for that. But as far as um, my personal way that I like to cast mocap is I need to hear the person's voice first. So I like to do the first round of VO casting and then cross-reference them with IMDb, make sure they can walk and talk at the same time. But if not, then I, I, but I fall in love with their performance. I still bring them in for the callback. So. Jamie ever does one, take his. <laughs> Until then, I do pimp for Julian Renee. Uh, she teaches a mocap class now, uh, and it's pretty good. She has worked for a long time in mocap. Uh, she was in Avatar, she's done countless games, and she's doing a, a class because she loves it. She wants to. Who is that? I didn't hear. Julian Renee. Okay. Is her name. So it's J U L I A N? No, J U L E N E. What about, would improv help you with motion and movement and Absol spontaneity? Any, anything. And I, I graduated from players, uh, from Second City in Chicago and Players Workshop, and I did all that. And I, and not trying to be an actor, but just making me better, mm -hmm. in my humble opinion, trying to make me a mm -hmm. better director and writer. And of course, all that stuff helps sure. so much. Mm -hmm. Any of that movement, any of that response, and just like any stage work or any TV work you're doing, just understanding working with somebody and how to play off and trying to find a moment because you know director could be on set just like on TV um, you want to see what the actor's gonna bring something to that moment too and not just gonna say I want your arm here at this point and doing this so improv is great I'm a big fan of Second City maybe because I came from there uh, but it's just it, yeah it's the base for for all the improv classes it's you know based from Second City and then move down a little bit this way and that way and how, how do you go about finding like the right agency for you? An agent? Yeah, agent. Yeah. Agency. Yes. They're all the same. Yes. <laughs> you know, there, there, there's a saying. Yeah, there you go. You got the voice of a right resource there. guard right there. Give it to him. Just give it to him. Um, uh, there's a saying out here in LA: changing agents is like switching deck chairs on the Titanic. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's it's. There a lot of it. terrible <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's right on the money. I don't, I don't know about you. But but, but again, <laughs> hey, did I hurt your ego a little bit? Like, <laughs> oh, look at how sensitive he is. Oh my god. Well, it's like any business. It's really all about relationships. You yeah. Know what I mean, yeah. You create a relationship with. You don't have a relationship with one agent. It's not worried, but you you know somebody else and you have a friendship with them of some sort. It's like any any business in the world. It, it is relationships, yeah. and you. And Bill's right. I mean, it, in a yeah. way, it's like an agent's an agent, but what is your relationship with each agent? Mm -hmm. And and, and you, you have know. to develop that relationship. Yeah. You know, I mean, I mean, I've been with very many agents out here in L.A. My agent in Chicago, I've been with her for over 30 years, because we just have this great relationship. I'm still I'm still booking work out of Chicago because we have that relationship. I mean, Jeff is kind enough to come in and do these things for me because we have a relationship, and, and I've developed that relationship. And and now I would say it's more, well, I'm going to say, it's more of a friendship. I, I don't know how you feel. <laughs> 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 Not so much. But, I mean, we, you know, we play poker together and the whole thing. And, oh, and <laughs> you don't want me to tell so a story on camera. OK. Uh, but but again, it it's it's like I I am with the Vox agency because I like the Vox agency, you know what I mean? I just like the feel of what they do. I like their philosophy, and and that's why I'm with them. And like I said, I've been with William Morris. I've been with you know the big the big time agents out there, and you know it's it's like who do you like being with? I mean that that has a lot to do with it, and because because I feel comfortable that these guys are sending me the stuff. That I'm right for, and again, a, a guy like Jamie, you know, it, it's it's like when he hears me, I know I know that Jeff has sent him something that he's going to hear me in my best light, and they're not going to send me out on something that that I'm not really right for, you know, just to get me in front of that agent, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So so again, yeah, it does come down to relationships. And, <laughs> and before you get, I know repeat it a couple times. You got to practice this all the time, and I know some of you work and do. So it's not for everybody here, but get the microphone. It's cheap. Get Audacity. It's free. 
practice this all the time because you are competing against the ninjas. They're these people that they don't have headshots. They're so good. They walk in a room, they start talking, yeah. and it's like just it's just unbelievable. They just have this tool, and then they're then they're talented on top of it. You know, it's it's awesome, and don't, don't, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. But it takes practice. It's it's just working at that and really getting that getting that rhythm and and refining that all the time and being honest with yourself. Like I was saying, listen to the stuff, record it, listen to it back, and be honest and just keep on improving that, improving, improving it all the time. You got to literally do it every day. I know some talent that um, that they used they worked a lot and um, they went on vacation for a couple weeks. They came back and they were like, oh geez, I went into a session and. I, I, it wasn't coming out the way I want, wanted, and that was two weeks of some of that works all the time. That was it does cartoons and does, uh, TV, all kinds of stuff. So it's like just that that muscle's got to work a lot. And uh, not to embarrass Ek Amadi here, just but, second time. But mm -hmm. well, but again, I mean, you know, Ek and I started. You know, I mean, basically when you started, you yeah. started coming to me. And what what I've always and I talk to my other students about a guy like E.K. in respect that, you know, he, we go out to lunch and we fart around and stuff now, but he'll call me up and he's like, you know, I want to do cartoons now. I want to get more into cartoons and games. So what does this guy do on Saturday morning? He sits and he watches fucking cartoons all day. Absolutely. Again, I'm not going to do that because, yeah. have you seen some of the cartoons out there today? Mm -hmm. So, but, but again, he's, he's been very persistent and he, he, he works and he works and he works. And here's a guy who's a, a great success story. Yeah. Because, you know, certainly not because he has much talent. Uh, <laughs> but, but, he, but he works very, very, very hard at, at getting it. That's and, exactly. And that's, that's a really good it's, That's example. coming right off what I'm saying is exactly yeah, that. Exactly. It's that persistence and really working and you've got to love it because if you don't love it, eh, how's that going to work out? You know, if you're not doing it all the time and like I was saying, read comic books, read aloud, read a book aloud so that you're used to seeing something and not seeing, you know, never seen this dialogue before this, this and just being able to pop it out. You know, so you got to practice, 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 research. It's all good. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ask somebody for directions. Yeah. No, nope. practice. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, Ian, you crazy guy. <laughs> Anything else? Jeff Jones, Jamie Portolaro, Lady Milner. <laughs>